Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. Um, I want to uh, address a subject that I think amounts to uh, essentially whistling past the graveyard, uh, which is uh, China and the continued work, uh, cooperation <laughs> between the USDA and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Um, I was pretty shocked to learn about this recent $1 million collaboration on risky bird flu evolution lab experiments with the CAS and a researcher affiliated with the Wuhan lab, which is an arm of the academy. Um, beyond the obvious, this is extremely concerning because the House Foreign Affairs Committee and the Bipartisan China Committee acknowledged that the CAS is a state-controlled entity that reports to China State Council. The U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission reports that the Chinese Academy of Sciences has connections to Chinese military, nuclear, and cyber espionage programs. With growing concerns from the Office of DNI and others about China's bioweapons capabilities, the national security threats raised by the USDA's collaboration with the CCP-controlled Chinese Academy of Sciences on dangerous bird flu experiments aren't hypothetical. Uh, the Wuhan tied Chinese Academy of Sciences researcher on this USDA project has stated that one of the goals of this bird flu research collaboration is to, quote, exchange the research data. Is the USDA sharing data and virus sequencing from bird flu evolution experiments conducted in high containment USDA labs with collaborators at the CAS? And if so, how can the USDA ensure sensitive data on lab-created bird flu strains is not used for malign purposes by the CCP, for example, for bioweapons development? To my knowledge, there's not the sharing that you've suggested uh, and that all of this is basically walled off. Uh, so everything we're doing stays with us. It doesn't necessarily go to the UK or to China. Do you have confidence in these walls that yes. you are speaking to? Yes. All right. The Wuhan Institute of Virology uh, had walls, and uh, it was well, identified. We're not in China, sir. We're it, just a different as an deal. affiliate of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the U.S. government's ten-year debarment levied against the Wuhan lab. The Foreign Affairs Committee has proposed sanctions against the CAS due to the Wuhan lab's gain-of-function research violation of NIS. NIH grant terms and subsequent cover-up. Why is the USDA still collaborating with the CAS on risky virus research when it has violated U.S. grant and gain-of-function policies, obstructed COVID origin investigations, and refused to share critical data on U.S.-funded coronavirus research at its lab in Wuhan? It's, it's really not a, a, a collaboration per se because everyone is doing their own separate research. Obviously, it's in, it's in the best interest of all of us that we figure this HBAI out so that we don't continue to see the devastation that has occurred in this country. We've spent close to a billion dollars of CCC resources trying to help our turkey, chicken, and egg layers industry survive this. So we got to find some, we have to figure out how to solve it and how to stop it. We have to figure out how to vaccinate. We have to figure out all of the, the, the very complicated process involving vaccination. I would Turkeys agree. love it. Chickens don't. I mean, it's it's they're, they're just a lot, lot of challenges. Of growers and processors in my district, but we shouldn't the, compromise we're not, our national security. The, this when is we are, the, our national security is not being compromised at all with reference to this particular circumstance. Well, will you commit to terminating the involvement of the CAS and there's other nothing, states? There's nothing to terminate. And other USDA there's research. nothing to terminate. Well, I think you shouldn't be. These walls you claim to have created, um, I would highly doubt our... Well, you, you're doing a disservice to the professionals and scientists who work for USDA when you say that, sir. You're doing a disservice to our national security, no, to our country. Not even close. Mr. Secretary, not even I close. yield back. Not even close.